and away from the front lines, international condemnation of Russia's invasion with protests taking place around the globe. Pro-Ukraine demonstrations have taken place across the world as thousands have taken to the streets to denounce Russia's assault on its neighbor Ukraine. Moscow's invasion has sparked a global outcry. It's prompted punishing sanctions, as we've explained to you from the West. Aruna Ayenga reports. Around the world, people are voicing concerns. Outside the White House, they're calling for the U.S. government to ban Russia from the SWIFT financial payment system. USA, support Ukraine. Protests in New York. We are Ukrainians living in New York, and we are desperate to ask people to help Ukraine to fight. And in Colombia. Scenes in Brussels as protesters relay their message to drivers from a bridge. In Israel, this was the message. We need your help. We need help from your European nations, from NATO, from all around the world. Don't stay at home. Choose your voice. Go out. Slava Ukraini. From inside Russia in Yekaterinburg, police detain protesters who dare to raise their voices. These people march, but there are no banners, and there's silence, but it's still a show of opposition. Resistance shows itself in many ways. A Ukrainian asks a Russian tank driver, have you broken down? Can I tow you back to Russia? <laughs> Aruna Ayenga, BBC News.